want to move your life forward in the most positive way using astrology? Then let's talk about the astrological patterns for May 2016. We begin May with a pretty potent astrological pressure system, but please don't be afraid. You know, there is so much hype on the internet about the patterns that are going on at this time astrologically, and it's creating a lot of fear and frankly, some negative thinking in people. I would never want to see astrology used to implant negative ideas in people because we will surely create them if we buy into it. So let me explain May from a slightly different astrological perspective. I like to refer to this month as Mindfulness May. And the reason I do that is because, yes, there is some astrological pressure. We have a lot of planets retrograde. There's a lot going on. But we can use that to engage a new level of spiritual understanding and connection with the universe. We're going to be asked to do a lot in the first three weeks of May. And I readily admit, there may be moments in the first three weeks of May where the energy is pretty grouchy or stressful or challenging. But please don't be victimized by astrology. Move forward and face the challenges and decide on your own point of view and your own thought pattern. That's the only thing you can control in your life. Let me discuss with you a few dates in May so that you can utilize this energy for your highest good. On May 6th, we have a very powerful new moon in Taurus. You can refer to my video for more details on this. But let me just say that this is the perfect time to create new discipline in your life, new commitment levels to staying positive. On May 9th, Jupiter goes direct and we have Sun conjunct Mercury. And that is simply gonna take what you started at the new moon and move it forward. Next, we have May 21st and May 22nd that are significant, and here's when the energy changes. Please understand that what you start for the first three weeks of May, you better be ready because on May 21st and 2nd, it's gonna engage out into the world in a new way. We have an energy shift then. We have a full moon on the 21st, and that is in Sagittarius, and that full moon will be conjunct Mars. That's high energy, that's activation, that is taking specific action forward, living it, okay? On May 22nd, we have Mercury going direct. It will have been retrograde for the entire time in May prior to that. So we have all of this time in the first three weeks where we are integrating and making commitments and creating new discipline, and then it goes out into the world on the 21st and 22nd, and after that, it's a very powerful time. And then last, on May 27th, we have Mars retrograding back into all-powerful Scorpio, and it's gonna stay in Scorpio for all of June and all of July, hitting those last few degrees of Scorpio that are so intense. So be ready. Do not be victimized by what you hear on the internet or in blogs about the astrology in May. Take charge of it. Develop the new habits. Create the discipline, work it into your daily routine, and then be ready because when we get to the third week in May, the energy is outward. It goes out into the world and you'll be asked to live it at a new level. I'm really excited about May and I hope you are too. Thank you. I'm Kathy Rose.